Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here on Jared Gunson TV. I'm just doing a short, quick little tip video on um, a sort of advanced noise gate type thing where you can really cater to your own sort of guitar. And this isn't the guitar, it's a, my Fender uh, Tele, which these sounds were not set up on, but I'm just using this to demonstrate how I would adjust them for this guitar so that maybe it'll apply for you. Now, if you have a look here, I've got my first noise gate set quite high, and then I've got my second noise gate. It's peaking, it's sitting there at about 60, where where I'd probably normally set it. Uh, it's mainly so that when I am not playing, I don't get any buzz through cables. If there's a funny power line, or if you're on high gain, you know, you know the sound. Um, but when I play, watch what happens to that threshold. And then when I stop, it goes back up to roughly where my uh, threshold was initially set. Now the way we do this is we go into our assign matrix and we do an assign on your noise suppressor. In this case, it's noise suppressor two. Our source is our input level. It's momentary. Its threshold is 60 and naught. So when I play, I want it to basically be off. And then when I'm not playing, I want it to kick up to 60. But I found that this alone wasn't quite doing it right. So I came in here and I did my actual high and low. I just brought this down from 127. Now if I leave that on 127, watch what happens over here. It's just not kicking back enough. So um, noise gate, input level, threshold. 66 naught page two bring this back down quite a bit and dial this into what feels natural for you i'm not going to save this for now because it sounds fine on my other guitar then on my crunch tone I had it set up for a while, but I found it wasn't really working because you want to be playing some of those notes. Um, ugh, you know how it is with your crunch. You want to be digging in. But for me, a noise gate of about 20 just gets rid of any cable noise in any venue. And around 50 seems to clean it up after the amp. Now we're going to check the high gain. We're going to try. There, I can already hear a bit of a. Mm. So now my rule of thumb here is a bit of a high one on the first threshold and a low one on the second. But we're going to now apply that advanced noise gate idea. So. Noise gate, threshold one, threshold, input level, momentary, 100 and naught, that's going to be way too much. So when I play it goes down, and when I'm not playing, it's going to be trying to kick back up to 100%. So where was that sitting? It was sitting at 50, 59. But I'm finding 59, I can still hear a bit, but I'll apply the second one to get rid of some of that. Now, if we go and have a look what that's doing. You can see it's kicking back way too quickly. So now we're going to go back in there. And pull our actual high down to about there. And there, how you see how the noise gets just kicked right back up. Now with my second one, I'm going to try to get rid of that cable noise. There. About 63. So let's go into our second one, which was noise gate 2. And what did we say? 63. Sorry. 63 is where it's got to kick up to, not 100%. And let's pull this one right down as well. Maybe leave about 15% in there because there's always a bit of something there. 
and we bring this actual one down to about 53. Turn that on. And let's have a listen to what that sounds like. This is noise gate one we are having a look at. Lovely. Noise gate two. Alright, I like that a lot. I'm probably going to apply that when I plug in my other guitar again. Now, my biggest problem is my solo. There's a You're going to hear the cable noise straight away. Lovely, isn't it? Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so 86 and 65. 86, 65. 86. And 65. And those two on. Okay, so noise gate one. Moment input level threshold. Bring this actual value down. Because the solo, you obviously want it to feel buttery. You don't want your noise gate kicking in too much. Bring that down as well. Close, close. Now let's see what happens here on noise gate. That's more than enough sustain for life. Always get two. Let's see this. You can hear straight there the the cable noise comes back in before um, it starts to choke my guitar. So there's a little tip for you. Hope it helps.